So what I want you guys to understand here is, again, when we're finding the end behavior, we have to find the degree, which is the largest power. We can't find the largest power unless this is expanded. Do you guys agree? We have to expand this. Now, there's a couple things, though, for us to know. Um, first of all, if I was going to expand a, for instance, x plus 2 squared, x plus 2 squared is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now, can we figure out what the degree is of if I was just going to expand these two? This gives me x squared. Is there any other power that's going to be higher than x squared when this is expanded? No. So do we really care about what those other numbers are? So, so watch. What I can do is x plus 2 remains the same. x minus 3 cubed is really multiplying this fir first term by itself three times. So the largest degree, when I expand this out, is going to be what? x, what? x cubed. When I do this, I don't have to do it, but the largest power I'm going to get is x cubed. The largest power I'm going to get here is x squared. It doesn't even matter what these numbers are, what the rest of the numbers are, Zach. Now, when I multiply all of these, what's the largest I'm going to get? I can't get anything higher than x squared times x cubed, which gives me x to the fifth, times x, which will give me x to the sixth. Now, do we have enough information to find the end behavior? Yes. Even, positive. Even and positive, then we can say that it's going to um, rise left, rise right. Or what I want you guys to practice on your homework is writing it in terms as the limit. So limit as x approaches negative infinity of, of, of our function here y, or I'll just call it f of x, of our function f of x equals infinity, and the limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x is going to be equal to infinity. So just make sure you guys are practicing writing it in limit notation, because when you guys take your test, that's what I'll be all looking for.